So today we thought we would test out the theory and see if the air conditioner will go right here and vent out this little side window. So in order to do that, John had to pretty much disassemble everything on that wall and get that board out of the way and see what we're working with. Interesting to see what's behind here. That's what they teach you in take apart school. You just keep taking screws off till the parts and what falls off. Uh huh. Yep, that's factory Alaska. Tons of Alaska. And when I was looking at this fan, the guy that owned it before me was talking about how it is very well insulated and it is ready to go to Alaska. Those were his words. So, just kind of as a running joke now, every time John takes something down and some insulation falls out, we refer to that as Alaska. <laughs> it's really awesome. I mean, I'm really glad that it's so insulated, but yeah, it's literally everywhere, so that's kind of fun. I actually want that window to show something. Well, it went into it's going to, part of it's going to be covered up. Because that's where your air conditioner goes. Yeah. See, mm. that's not going to be enough. Mm. So, upon further investigation, the only way to really do this, John would have to build a box around that window. There'd have to be a way to get to it, to open and close it. I think it's just going to be way too much trouble. Said I don't really go camping that much in the summer because, well, it's too hot. Even with an air conditioner, it's too hot to be outside here in Texas. So, there's only a few times a year, really, honestly, that I need it. If it's in there, I use it even, you know, if it's not broiling hot. I just want to cool it off a little bit. I can be spoiled rotten. But, yeah, I don't really need anything so permanent for the AC. So I think what we're going to do instead is try to just vent it out the uh, driver's side window and just get a little something something to hold it in place up there. I think that'll be fine for now anyway. Okay, face it, I am really itching to go camping <laughs> until we get this air conditioner thing figured out I can't. <laughs> so I'd rather make do and then think about it some more and see what we want to do. Look what I found! More wires? More wires. No idea. I have no idea. No. Don't tell me that's more wire. More wires! Huh. Oh, I know where that one goes. <laughs> that goes all the way up there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Remember I showed you the three together and thought, yeah. oh, that might be an antenna wire? Yeah. I'm guessing it's not an antenna wire. But <laughs> now we know it doesn't go anywhere. Right. It ends right there, and it ends right there. Huh. I wonder if those go with it. Yeah. Good times. Uh. So then, that brings us to the bed. <laughs> we decided to go ahead and disassemble this whole bed because it's, like I said, way too big for me, and John needed to get behind it and under it anyway to finish up the wiring situation and make sure everything was good with those heater hoses and stuff. Last night, me and Vicky made those fake pollen cabinet boxes. <laughs> we're, we're no humble road, but we tried. They'll suffice. They'll, they're, at least we can tell how much room we need, how much room we've got to work with. Awesome. All right, we can let this out now, I think. Not sure why he's it tied it to the mat. I guess so the mat wouldn't move. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> I've been for this is a 
18 that's 27 and then we need 14 from there right mm -hmm. When Humble Road does his little mock-ups, he's a little more precise, <laughs> and his stuff comes out a little prettier, but hey, we're amateurs. Thanks for following along on this little build adventure, guys. I really appreciate it. Y'all stay lost, my friends. This without any kind of...